Hi, this is John with Light of the Scripture, inoculating you against the woke mindset of this world with the Word of God, with the Bible. And today we're going to look at uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 27. And it says, For as lightning that comes from the east uh, is visible from the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. What's that talking about? That's talking about Jesus Christ coming back to earth. And he is going to come back to earth. And it's going to be something that is going to be visible to every human being. Everyone's going to be able to see it. We'll uh, hear it. And uh, so it's going to be a worldwide event. It's not going to be something that's going to be done in secret. Uh, but uh, it's going to be something that uh, will be visible to all. Now, Jesus Christ actually... Uh, seems to have indication that he will be coming back uh, twice. You might say, John, that's not right, because the Bible only talks about him coming back once. But actually, I think it does talk about him coming back twice. He's going to be coming back uh, soon uh, to uh, snatch up his church. That's something that we refer to as the rapture. And we'll take a look at, uh, possibly take a look at a, a Bible verse that will come from the book of uh, Thessalonians that we'll be talking about where he snatches up his church. Then he will come back, uh, but he won't set foot on the earth at that time. And uh, uh, so the church will disappear. The church will actually be ascending into heaven. And... Uh, so uh, there will be millions of people worldwide that will be missing. And, you know, the earth's going to freak out about that. And uh, rightly so, uh, because uh, they're all be, going to be taken up to heaven. And uh, then everybody else is going to be left behind. And uh, th those that are left behind will have to go through the tribulation uh, that the Bible talks about, that we read about in the book of Revelation. And that is real, and that's an actual event, and, uh, you know, that's when times are going to come uh, to an end. And uh, the times will get worse during the tribulation, uh, but at the end of the tribulation, uh, Jesus Christ will come back to the earth and actually set foot on the earth, and uh, will um, take over the world governments of this earth, uh, they will try to fight him, and uh, they will be destroyed by him. And uh, then uh, he's going to establish peace throughout the earth. You can read all about this in the Bible. And uh, this is uh, this might sound scary and, and terribly supernatural to a lot of people, but it's something that if you're a Christian, if you're born again, if you've put your faith in Jesus Christ, it's not something that you have to fear. And um, now it is a very fearful thing for most people. And uh, the fact is that when we have a final judgment that occurs, we will all be standing before Jesus Christ. And, you know, if we're right with Jesus Christ, if we've accepted him as Lord and uh, we've believed on him and we have received him, then uh, he's basically going to say, you're mine and uh, just welcome into my presence. But for those that doesn't, that have not done that, uh, he'll say, "Depart from me, you worker of iniquity or worker of uh, evil." And uh, he said, "I don't know you." And uh, then they have to, those individuals will be having to face the final judgment. So, uh, are you going to end up having to face the final judgment of God? Or you're going to be ready for Jesus Christ when he comes back at a time that no one expects. Uh, but it says here, when lightning comes uh, comes is from the east, it's visible in the west, so it will be the coming of man. So it's something that we will be able to observe and we will be able to uh, know. He's not going to do it in secret. Uh, this is uh, John with Why the Scripture, uh, encouraging you to get deep into the Word of God and let the Word of God get deep into you.